Good morning, students. Yesterday we have talked about the poem vocation. So we have completed that poem, and today we are going to discuss the poetic device. That means the rhyme scheme and the figures of speech in the poem. Okay. So as we see this poem, this is here. The rhyme scheme. See there, the first stanza is of four lines. The second stanza it is of seven. The third stanza again it is of nine lines. So the lines are not proper in each stanzas equal. They are not at all equal. And see the first stanza, the last word and lane bangles bangles. Again, means if you will see from this, there is no particular rhyme scheme in this poem. So the poem is written in three words. So Rabindran Nath Tagore uh, at that time he did not follow the rules. of the traditional poet poems so he wrote this poem in three words three words means there is no rhyme scheme and no meter is followed in each of the line that is here and if we talk to the figures or speech so you will get it in the third and fourth line of the first stanza every day i meet the hawker crying bangles crystal bangles so it is alliteration because bangles word is repeated there okay and then in the second stanza you will again find out repetition words it is repetition bangles crystal bangles alliteration and repetition because b sound is you can hear it and the word bangles is repeated okay now again in the third there is nothing to hurry him the second stanza first line you will find out alliteration hurry him h sound is there so it is alliteration and again in the second stanza you will find out in the fifth line the road crying bangles crystal bangles so that is repetition bangles words that is repeated okay now next in the next line in the next stanza no figure of speech we are getting it here but in the second last stanza we get i can see through my open window the watchman walking up and down so up and down these opposite words are used in a single sentence so that is antithesis so last time we discussed about the figure of speech and i explained you what is antithesis antithesis means opposite words are used in a sentence next in the same stanza after one line you will see that the lane is dark and lonely and the street lamp stands like a giant so like word is used means it is simile so you will find out simile in the last stanza antithesis in the last stanza so here we have found out that is repetition alliteration then antithesis simile this type of figures of speech are used so poetic device when we are talking about the poetic device means that is the rhyme scheme of the poem and the figures of speech of the poem and one more thing if we get the sound from the particular word so that is onomatopoeia okay if we get the sound that is the gong sounds gong word itself is a sound so that is there also we will get the sound so that is onomatopoeia okay so we see onomatopoeia also in this poem so many figures of speech are used in this poem now we will discuss the question answers first we will only discuss because we have to write the poem appreciation of this poem so poem appreciation appreciation afterwards first we will do the question answers so yesterday we discussed what could be the age group of a speaker of the in the poem speaker means about the child who is the speaker there who is telling as i there that is the child so what can be the age yesterday we discussed that is 6 to 10 years old what is the difference between a hawker and a shopkeeper so what is the difference between a hawker and a shopkeeper a shopkeeper has a shop and that is at one particular place he has to do his business sitting in that shop and hawker he will wander from place to place for his selling his articles for his business he has to wander he will not have the particular shop okay he has to wander from one place to another that is a hawker 
Now, how do parents react when they see children soil their clothes in dust and heat? So, when your parents see your clothes with all with dirty with dust, so first what they will do? They will scold you. Okay, so parents' reaction is that they will scold and they will ask the reason. Okay, and will not allow you to go there again. Okay, and ask you to not dirty the clothes. Okay, that is the parents' reaction. Why is the street light compared to a one-red eye giant? Why the because the street light it is also just very in a very heighted portion. Okay, the long pipe is there, and only one light is twinkling. So that is one eyed giant. Okay, giant means a red giant means a very big man. They are rakshas. We say that. So that is there. Okay. What exactly does the speaker in the poem crave for? Crave मतलब किसके पीछे भाग रहा है वो? That is he is searching where he could get the best work. Okay, not so much stress or strain and doing not the homework. So he is craving or he is crazy for searching such a type of work where there will be no scolding, no homework. All those things will be there. Okay. Does the poet really wish to become a hawker, gardener, or watchman? Justify it. Does he really want to become? Become? No, actually not it. But he thinks that at his age he thinks that instead of uh, studying and doing homework and always getting scolds from the parents, it is better to be a gardener, gardener, hawker, or a watchman. So according to him, at his age, he doesn't know. Actual the value of the work he doesn't know what the work or what the hard work these persons have to do in order to earn the money. So it is his innocence. The psychology of that child is shown here. Okay, so that is there. Now we will discuss about the poem appreciation. So as I told you, the poem appreciation in the first three paragraphs will be there in the first paragraph. The name of the poem and the poet. So, please write down poem appreciation. Yes, here yeah, we will start with the poem. Vocation is pen free in the pen. Pen is written. Is penned by. Rabindranath Tagore. So this is enough for the first paragraph, okay? Because we have to write only the name of the poem and the poet. But if you write, it shows the psychology of this poem going. It shows this poem shows the psychology. This you can add it. The psychology of a Cool going child. So this will be in the first paragraph. Okay. So this poem initially is spent by the Vedanta Tagore. So this is already given in the textbook and in the question paper. It will be given the poem, the name of the poet also it will be given. So little bit you can add it to score and to present it more properly. You can add it. in the second. You will write about the rhyme scheme. Okay. You will write about the rhyme scheme and the figures of speech. Okay. Then you will do it. The poem is written is written in three words. Okay, three words. That is without any. Rhyme scheme or meter meter in in the lines. Okay. Then you will write about that's not speech in the second paragraph. Okay, itself. So many figures of speech. Many 
many figures of speech are used in the poem in the poem as we try down the names of some of the figures of speech which are used in the poem so many figures of speech are used in the poem as then we will write down the names here as repetition Alliteration, alliteration. But the one again and again which is used in the poem that is repetition. So we will write down what the one, but the one that stands out. is repetition and we will write the example of repetition okay is repetition in the line bangles crystal bangles in the line crystal Balance that you will write down. Inverted comma proofs and here you can just underline because you are taking this line from the poem, so you will underline. Now the last paragraph that is about the central idea. The central idea. What is the central idea? The central idea. Is the child's psychology? Child's children psychology is presented in your child's psychology. Child's psychology is depicted here. Child's psychology that elders are happier that. Elders are happier than any school going child. Any school going child. This is their the psychology of the children. No one scolds them, they don't have to do the homework. That is the explanation in the poem. Okay, so elders are happy than any school going child. So it is here, and here you have done with the poem appreciation, question answers, and all the grammar question, poetic device that also we have discussed. So in the first paragraph, the poem vocation. Okay, this you will write it in super inverted comma. You may underline also. Okay, so here you should highlight the words. He is spent by Ravindra Nath Tagore. This also in a very light manner you will underline. Okay, Ravindra Nath Tagore. He shows the psychology of the school going child. Okay, the poem is written in three words. This three words is also important there. So this also you can underline it without any rhyme scheme or meter in the lines. Many figures of speech are used in the poem. Here we will write down the name, location, then simile, alliteration. Okay, but the one that stands out, one that is the central, which mostly it is used in the poem. In this poem, many times it has been used. So the one that stands out is vision in the line bangles crystal bangles because two times this line is used in the poem. And the central idea is the child psychology that elders are happier than any school going child. Okay, so this is our poem appreciation and question answers. So you have to prepare the poem appreciation of every poem and question answers there and the grammar section. So here, another poem is there for the practice of this poem that is on page number 29. So read out that poem. So your homework is to read out that poem. Okay. Paper boards. The name of the poem is paper boards.
it is given there. So your number will be read the poem. Paper books. It is to be your number. Paper books. Okay, page. Twenty-nine. This is on page number twenty. So this will be okay. Now tomorrow we will start the new lesson. Tomorrow we are going to start with the new lesson. Okay, bye, students.